Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way and I'm Deb. You're here for hashtag Tea Tuesday. This collaboration was started by, well I got into it from Life with Patty's channel and Kathy's favorite things and Patty kind of joined together to start their their collaboration hashtag Tea Tuesday. Many, many, many other people have joined in on this. The collaboration has been going on for, well, I think I've been involved in it for over a year now, but it, it is so much fun because you just kind of sit back and take it easy, drink some tea. I'm drinking iced tea right now. This is gold, gold leaf and sweetened by cane sugar. It's very good and very refreshing on a hot day that we're having here today. But we are supposed to have rain later this afternoon. Anytime now, I guess. But it is steamy hot. <laughs> so, cheers with iced tea. Let's see. What have I been doing lately? Well, I have been doing a lot of sewing. And that is coming up. I'm in another collaboration with that. On, and I'll have videos out on Friday for, for that collab. It's really fun. I'm enjoying these collaborations. It kind of keeps me motivated in, in filming and gives me subject matter for one thing too. But for today, I did get out on my own doing a bit of shopping and I hit, one place was Dollar Tree. I hadn't been there for quite a few months. I don't even remember the last time I was there. But um, I went in to see what was new they actually were not as cluttered as they normally are, you know, in the aisles. They were stocking up the shelves pretty good. But I, I, I didn't find much, but I did find a few things there. And what I ended up getting is some Glade Spray Bubbly Berry Splash. It's different. I don't see this in the stores. So I got two cans of those. Oh, and yes, everything at Dollar Tree. Um except for the cards that I got. I got two cards and they were a dollar each. Everything is a dollar twenty-five. Our Dollar Tree has not changed names yet, but I guess in most areas it's now called, I think it's Dollar Tree Plus, something like that. But ours hasn't changed names yet. So what else did I get? I got uh, some push pins, some little black push pins. I have a, a need for those to hang something up or pin it to the wall, really. And, you know, when it comes to notebooks and paper goods, I just can't pass it up. This is that one. Oh, they had their school supplies out, too. A lot of school supplies. Well, I don't need pens or pencils, but I can always use writing tablets, <laughs> you know. And this was a, a nice size, and I thought, well, okay, I got to get it. So, you know, hey. And these... This is just normal. I always pick up at least one pad of these little uh, legal pads every single time I go to Dollar Tree. I really use these a lot. My, I'm a list maker. When I go shopping, I make a list. This kind of paper comes in real handy for that type of list. And then I'm thinking of doing something um, organizing in a way in my sewing room. So I bought a, a couple of these um, clasp envelopes. I figured I may as well get them at Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five, you know, per per um, three. How many are in here? Four. Four in a packet. So I have eight to start with. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm thinking it'll keep me I'm thinking it will keep me very well organized for what I want to use it for. So we shall see. And I may be going back to get more. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. Under twenty bucks, you know, hey not bad. I think that was it too. Felt like I got more, but I, I guess that's it. I didn't need anything more. Oh, and one thing I did notice there was that their freezer section was just about empty. I mean, really, you could say it was empty. There were very little um, foods in the freezer area there. Whereas in the past, it's fully stocked, you know, and it's, it was working. They had some things in that freezer area, but not much at all. So I was surprised by that, of course. 
but I'm finding that at our regular grocery store too, which I made a stop at today as well. It did not have some of our normal foods that I, you know, usually buy. So I'll have to check back maybe tomorrow or, you know, the next day or so. Uh, I was surprised by that. The shelves were pretty much stocked, you know, but there were a few empty gaps here and there. I'm still not used to seeing that, even though it's been, what, I'll go, like two years since the pandemic started, and we saw empty shelves after a while when that got going. Well, it's still in that kind of shape. I don't know how bad it's going to get, but... I did not go near the meat counter. I didn't need anything there, so I didn't have a chance to price out anything. I think I might have been in sticker shock if I had gone there because I understand the prices have gone up quite a bit in the meat section. On the other hand, our gas down here, I noticed at a few gas stations that I passed, it was $3.99 a gallon. We haven't seen that low of a price in quite a while, months and months but we'll see how low it goes. We're going out again tomorrow, I guess, and William says we'll gas up then. So, okay, no problem. Hopefully it'll be maybe, you know, a couple of pennies less even. We'll see. Hopefully it's not over $4, <laughs> but I really didn't need to get gas today. I'm just a quarter of a tank down. So tomorrow, after we're done doing whatever our errands are that William wants to do, I think he, he's planning to have lunch out too, but on our way back home, we'll gas up and make sure the tank is full. We don't let it get below half a tank of gas, that's for sure. But anyway, let me move these off camera too. You don't need to look at our toilet spray. But um, that was my, oh, one other thing that I did do is, um, I didn't film at the Dollar Tree because I've been there so many times before and it really hasn't, didn't look any different. Nothing new holiday wise, you know, nothing at all. Just back to school supplies. So I didn't film there, but I did stop off at the Coop Antique Store. Mm -hmm. It had been months since I've been there. Maybe I was there just after Christmas, I think. It has, it has been quite a while since I've been there, and I had to stop and see what they had that was new. I filmed a little bit in there. Let me show you. It has been quite a few months. I think the last time I was where I'm at right now was just after Christmas. It has been many months anyway since I've been here. Yep. That's where I'm going. Just gonna check it out. I remember that very well. I was in junior high school. Nice piece of furniture. Well, I like this too.
And there's more. A chest of drawers to go with it. So six piece waterfall, $1,900. Hmm. It's a nice set. Okay, so there's one, two, three. I don't know where the rest of it is. Oh. Four. Okay. It's a nice set. I used to have a typewriter like this. $79.99. Hmm. It has good action. Two dollars a set. Hmm. I did see a lot of Corel that I liked a lot, but I have a nice Corel set of mixing bowls, except that one of them, the smallest one, got broken, no, oh, probably well, about two years ago now. Uh, William was taking dishes out of the dishwasher, 
that were dried and ready to be put away, and I dropped it. So, yep, it shattered. I wish I could replace just that bowl, but it was the series that is uh, brown and kind of a gold color. I, it's really pretty. I'd never seen anything like it. I haven't seen anything since either. So, but I did see a lot of Corel there today, different types, and it was tempting. But I have, I do have a lot of Corel yet. I like Corel. It it lasts quite a while. It holds up. So, outside of that, oh, the old telephones there. Well, I'm a retired telephone company. So, even when I was working, I used to collect. Telephones, yes I did. <laughs> I don't have any anymore, but um, I used to have some old-fashioned telephones and I saw a few there at the antique store, one of which I did film and that was the old wall phone and it still had the ringer to it working. That was amazing. I never had to use one like that before, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I just can't imagine having to talk on something like that with the earpiece, you know, and then the, the mouthpiece up a, a little bit higher, yeah. But it's quite an antique. I think it was 345 Yeah, quite expensive. I don't know if many of you remember from past videos, but there was a, a booth at this antique store that had a lunch pail for many, well, a couple of years anyway. Um, a couple different visits that I paid there for sure had it on display yet and I mean they wanted like a thousand dollars for it but it was an old Beatles lunch pail and it wasn't there this time it's gone now they could have moved it you know to change their uh, merchandise and that their display in the booth but I assume of course they might have sold it um, but yeah it was a nice one it was a nice one but I wouldn't have paid a thousand dollars for it. Mm -mm, that's quite a bit. But I'm sure there's some Beetle Mania person out there who has a lot of has quite a collection of stuff, and they hey a thousand bucks for it? Yeah, crazy for it. I'll take it. And what else did I see there? Um, just a lot of Corel, a lot of Corel. And I noticed some of the antiques that I'd seen there before have they're still there. Yeah, the, I did film a bedroom set that was there that was really pretty. Um, I think it said, if I remember right, it was six pieces for $1,900. Okay, it looked in really good shape. You know, I, I, don't, I don't remember what year it was from. Probably the 40s, I think, is what I would date it at. In really good shape. But anyway, I just didn't see anything that I had to have. So that was my day today. Now I'm back home and it does look like we are going to have rain and we are supposed to have rain. So it can come anytime now because I'm safe at home. And that is about all I've done today. Yeah, nothing else. I brought lunch home. William stayed home while I was out shopping. He just didn't feel like going with me. And I brought uh, a, a sub, a boar's head, meat sub home for lunch. So he liked that. There's really nothing much going on around here lately. The weather is just too hot to do anything for us. Um, for a lot of people too, we just stay indoors where it's nice and cool. Thank goodness we have air conditioning. I just can't imagine not having some sort of a cooling system, even if it's just fans, you know. And there are some people that don't have a lot like we do. So I don't know how they're managing it, but it is miserably hot down here. And I know it is in a lot of different parts of the country. There's just extreme heat. And in Europe too right now, my goodness. Just try to stay as cool as possible. Drink lots of fluids. Actually, it should be you know ice water, but hey, drink fluids. Mm -hmm. Stay well hydrated. And that's about it for this time around. I hope you're all having a good one out there. You stay safe, stay well hydrated, take care, 
and I'll be talking to you again real soon, but for this time, it's bye for now.